<laughs> we actually met at uh, Dickman's. She was the ref for volleyball, and we were playing, and we kind of, I kind of swooned her that way. He's not like me. <laughs> He's, he can budget his money. He is very level-headed, and I think I need that part to ground me. I just really like every everything about her. I like she's very confident. I like how she speaks up for herself. I like how she puts herself out there. She lets you know how she's thinking. She never hides anything. Um, just over time, we just developed a really good friendship. And it's been a while now that I knew I was going to marry. It just happened to be lately here that decided to pop the question. So. It was, it was snowing, I believe. That was February 14th, so Valentine's Day. Kind of cheesy, but I'll take it. We went out to Carabas. Just she thought it was a Valentine's Day. I guess she knew it all along because I sent her chocolate covered strawberries oh, to her work. And I've always wanted him to do that in the five years, and he's never done that. So we kind of had a hint. So it was girls at work were heckling me and saying, "Oh, he's going to propose. He's going to propose." but she didn't believe it. So we just went out to Carabas. That was one of our favorite restaurants. And um, we ate, but he kept like rushing me because it was supposed to snow really bad. And so I was like, well, you know, he never freaks out in the snow, but maybe, you know, he, he is this time. We came back and we both love our dogs. So I came back and I slid, I ran in the house real quick, slid the ring on her uh, collar. I had his present upstairs, which I still was preparing, if anybody knows me. Um, last minute of everything so I was throwing it in a gift bag and he's telling me to come into the kitchen so I come into the kitchen and there is a vase full of red roses and a teddy bear that said love on it and I called Amber in the other room I said look at look at what's what's wrong with her look at her collar and I flipped it around and she was really concerned about her so when I flipped the collar around that's when she saw it the engagement ring was on her collar and so it was really sweet because she means a lot to us. She actually started crying and said, are you sure you want to marry me? So that's how it ended up. And I was like, well, <laughs> of course I do. I mean, do you want to marry me though? And she eventually said yes. So. Every day. Oh, you know. I'll probably get butterflies in my stomach. I'll just say, I don't, I can't, I can't even picture what it's going to look like. All of our closest friends and family there to celebrate with us and I'm just so happy to see how she looks and I just can't wait to see her walking down the aisle with when I see your face there's not a thing that I would change cause you're amazing just the way you are I guess I would want him to know that We'll always have ups and downs, but that I, I think we can weather the storm. Just, you know, hang in there no matter what's going on, and I, I think it'll find a way, and we'll be happy. So just hang in there with me through all my drama, all my craziness. It'll be all right. Hi, Amber. <laughs> um, I just wanted to tell you that I love you with all my heart, but I just want to let you know I always look out for your best interest. And I love you. I trust you. You're everything I ever wanted. I can't wait to start a family with you. I'll always love you no matter what. You're my best friend. And I cannot imagine spending my life with anybody else but you. It's not a